All right, here's a little surprise for you. Another rock waltz. This time we're going to swing it. It's not a shuffle. You'll hear the term shuffle thrown around like just crazy amount of times. But, you know, if you're on a gig and you hear somebody say, you know, shuffle it, it just means put a swing on it. That's all it means. You know, it's, you don't want to get too hung up on the words. You know, sometimes leaders of bands don't know much about, like, grooves and rhythm as drummers do, and drummers get all, like, bent out of shape. But, you know, if somebody says the words to you, you know, put a little shuffle on it, that just means put a little swing on it. It works great. Now, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to swing this rock waltz. This is a great track. You guys are going to love practicing with this track. And it's also going to really start to look at some of those ghost things that we talked about, those ghost strokes. They have rhythmic value. So uh, you, I'm going to set up my backbeat on the, on the two-bar phrase, the one of the second bar. I'm going to set it up with a little bit of a ghost thing. And you try that too. And it's also going to be in the bass drum. It's going to play in like the broken triplet leading to the backbeat. It's a great sound. Here's what this sounds like. Ready? A one, two, a three, a one, a two, three. Hear that triplet? How about a grace? You know what I mean? Ghosts, grace, all sorts of fun. That's the way I'm playing it. Maybe you want to put a little bit, you know, different triplet in there. Try it. This is just one interpretation. Don't forget, I'm not trying to make little clones of Tommy Igo. What I want you to do is take it and make it your own. Have fun, experiment, make a whole ton of mistakes, and just have fun. Here's this, I, and I'm going to have fun on this track. This is one of my favorite tracks on the DVD. Here you go.